Uh, welcome again. This is part three of step-by-step -step house design with Revit 2019. And this next step, we are going to adjust our levels, our elevations. Um, we just drew the uh, basic footprint or, you know, put down the exterior walls. Uh, I'm just going to choose one of these elevations. Might as well be the east elevation. And that's over here in your project browser. And this is what you get. And this particular building, this house, is going to have... Um, um, code compliant eight foot one and a half inches um, height so eight foot one point five inches and uh, that would be my level two this is going to be a single story house it's not going to be a two story um, now the, what I do is I typically the way I label these is of course my first level here is level one um, and then my second level I will say top of wall one okay, capitalized uh, <clears throat> uh, but uh, but top of wall one is, is the way I label those um, especially when I start getting multi-story buildings then I know where the uh, level one level two are separate from top of wall one top of wall two Right, so we've we've got our and yes, uh, when you come up with when you click and you come up with this warning, would you like to rename corresponding views? Definitely hit yes. That's going to change the name of the view over here on this side. So click yes, and now you see I have level one and top of wall one for my floor plans and ceiling plans. All right, now you're looking here and you see my walls are pretty tall. They're actually what's called unconnected. Uh, at 20 feet, if you click on a the wall, then come over here to your uh, properties, it'll tell you unconnected 20 feet, and you can leave it like that because when you put the roof on, it will automatically adjust the height of the wall. Um, in other situations, we would actually change that, but right now it's not one of those situations. So change your levels and get your levels, um, you know, like mine, level one at zero and top of wall one at eight and one and a half, eight feet, one and a half inches.